Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to New Zor Education. Um, this is the lecture number four um, in the topic which uh, I call main theorems in uh, derivative theory. Um, all these theorems are called after certain famous mathematicians who introduced them first. Now, today lecture is about theorem introduced by Cauchy, another French mathematician, and uh, all these lectures are kind of increasing in in complexity. Also, th they're all very actually easy. All these theorems are very easy, um, but still they are kind of built upon each other. First, there was a Fermat theorem, then there was a Rolle theorem which is based on Fermat, then there was the Lagrange theorem which is based on the Rolle, and this Cauchy is just a some kind of uh, a little bit more complicated form of Lagrange, also based. The, the proof is also based on the Rolle's theorem. All right, so what is Cauchy's theorem? Here it is. So if you have two functions now, um, f of x and g of x, both defined on the segment AB with boundaries, um, then what's important now, and that's the statement of the theorem is, there is such a point x0 which belongs to this um, segment where the ratio of derivatives at that point is equal to the ratio of increments of these functions on this segment. So this is increment of the function on this segment. This is increment of another function on this segment. So the ratio of derivatives is equal to the ratio. Now, obviously, when I'm saying something like this, I assume that um, this is not equal to zero and this is not equal to zero. So all these uh, considerations related to a little bit more uh, rigorous proof I assume as uh, specified. So all I have to do is basically to prove this one. Now, as with the previous case in the Lagrange uh, theorem, I will just introduce another function, which is the combination of these, and use the Rolle's theorem, and from which I have uh, this uh, equation derived. Okay, so what's my um, auxiliary function? h of x is equal to f of x minus g of x times this ratio now why is this function satisfies the conditions of the Rolle theorem well let's just check what's the value of this function at both ends um, at a, I have f of a minus g of a times this ratio. Okay, let's go to the common denominator. So, it's f of a times g of b minus f of a g of a minus g of a f of b and plus g of a f of a well divided by g of b minus g of a um, okay this and this cancel out and what do I have? I have FAGB minus GAFB. Right. So let me put it here. FAGB minus GAFB divided by G of B minus F of A. And I wipe out this one.
Okay. Now, h of b. All right, it's f of b minus g of b times this ratio of increments equals. Okay, f of b, g of b minus f of b, g of a minus g of b, f of b plus g of b, f of a g b minus g a so what cancels out here? this what remains? f a g b minus g a f b exactly the same thing all right so this is the same as this one and if that is true i can use the rolls theorem for function g uh, for function a, h of x So, we don't need this, all we need is just to take a particular uh, derivative of this function and see what happens. Derivative is equal to, well, this is obviously linear combination of two functions, and that's derivative. Now, what the Rolle theorem says that there is such a fun such a point x zero where this is equal to zero, from which, look at this, immediately follows this one. All I have to do is put this on the right and divide by uh, derivative of, of g. Again, considering the derivative of g is not equal to zero at this point, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, under normal circumstances, when the function is smooth enough and we don't have zeros in the, de in the denominator, this is a true statement for some specific point x0. It exists, so the theorem says it exists. Point x0 exists, at least one point, um, within this segment from A to B, where this particular ratio of derivatives is equal to the ratio of function increments on both ends well basically that's it that's the last uh, theorem which was named after some famous mathematician which i wanted to present you um, i i do suggest you to go to website unisor.com where all these theorems are basically um, described it's like in a textbook uh, read it again, try to consider the meaning of these, and, uh, and basically you will feel comfortable with all these theorems. I don't think it's very important to remember the names of which theorem is called after which mathematician, but in any case, uh, I would say that the most important theorem is the first one, Fermat, which means if there is some kind of a local maximum or local minimum, then the derivative at this point is equal to zero because the tangential line is parallel to the x-axis. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you very much and good luck.